Hi, I'm sure that most of us will stay up until late at night to finish our assignments, homework, or to study. Or perhaps, do you always have problems sleeping at night that makes you sleepy and unable to perform well during the day? Do you know that it's better to sleep first and continue the work the next day early in the morning? Why? Watch this video till the end. Yana and welcome to the Brain Discovery Channel. Sleep deprivation not only leaves us feeling tired and awful, it also harms our brain and impacts the cognitive functions. Well, have you noticed that it becomes difficult for us to remember that or maintain our attention when we do not get enough sleep? What's more worrying is that in the long run, sleep deprivation may elevate our chances of getting neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. The question is, how does lack of sleep result in neurological damage? To better understand this, researchers recruited 24 healthy young women who were mostly in their early 20s and asked them to perform several tasks to test their brain functions. The tasks were first performed after the participants had enough sleep. The same tasks were then performed two weeks after but this time the participants did not get enough sleep and it was found that the participants were able to sustain the attention longer, remember information better and learn new things quicker when they had enough sleep as compared to when they did not. Also, using functional MRI, the researchers scanned the brains of the participants when they had adequate sleep and when they were sleep deprived. The researchers found that the sleep deprivation decreased the brain functions in the posterior cingulate gyrus, medial frontal gyrus, anterior cingulate gyrus, superior frontal gyrus, and cerebellum posterior lobe. The posterior cingulate gyrus and medial frontal gyrus are responsible for higher order thinking. On the other hand, the anterior cingulate gyrus helps us to make important decisions, whereas the superior frontal gyrus helps us to remember better. Lastly, the cerebellum posterior lobe helps in coordinating our body movement and that is possibly the reason we see accidents involving the sleep deprived drivers. Taken together, the study demonstrated that lack of sleep is indeed detrimental to our brain. Interestingly, researchers suggest that the harmful effects of sleep deprivation can be mitigated by exercise, but we will talk more about that in our next episode. Until then, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest updates. That's all from me and please don't forget to get enough sleep. Thank you all for watching. Bye!